Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 5, and I will read it. Casting down arguments in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Here we're reminded that our warfare is not a physical warfare, but rather it is a spiritual warfare. It's not against flesh and blood. It's not against that person, your co-worker, that gets on your last nerve. It's not against even an irritating person that you might run into in the house of God. But our warfare is a spiritual warfare, not against flesh and blood. As the Bible reminds us time and time again, but it is against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against the spiritual host of wickedness, even in the heavenly places. Yes, our warfare that we deal with as a believer, you can expect to run into opposition from the enemy. And the outgrowth of the spiritual warfare may be through the behavior of other people, how you interact with them and what they might do to you. So how do you deal in a, deal with a spiritual warfare? Do you fight uh, in your own strength, by your own physical fist you put up, your, your dukes as they say? No, 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 no. Our warfare uh, is not carnal, but it is mighty in God. As Paul tells us in the previous verse here, for even the pulling down of strongholds, and as a soldier of the Lord, we have to be ready at all times to cast down their arguments, cast down those things that, that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God, false teaching and doctrine, and the imagination that the enemy would, and, and thoughts that the enemy would plant in your mind. And notice that it says here that it can bring every thought into submission uh, to, into captivity to the obedience of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's think about that. How every thought, that how you could live a life free of these attacks that come, free of the recurring uh, imaginations, free of the evil thoughts, free of false teaching and all of this, bringing in that thoughts into captivity to the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, we have a, 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 a great source of power that God has given to us. He's given us not a, a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. And he has given us this wonderful gift of prayer and the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us to be able to deal with the spiritual attacks that come against us. And listen, keep your mind right, because that is the battleground for the enemy. And you're doing that today by tuning in to today's verse and by starting your day out in the word of God. Keep it up. Don't stop. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would have a wonderful day as you go throughout this day and that you would tune in again tomorrow as we consider <laughs> today's verse.